Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Thank you for coming in today. I hope that you are all well. Thank you if you're watching on live streaming. And if you're not, then you're probably watching on replay either on YouTube or on my catch. Welcome. How are you today? So as some of you already know, we've already been doing some soul work already. We've been looking at Dark Night of the Soul. We've done a whole bunch of um, soul revocations. And so we are now continuing with our soul journey. Hey, Chef, how are you doing today? With our soul journey with Soul Disclosure Series. This is going to be our Soul Disclosure Series. Hey, guys, thanks for rocking in this morning. I hope that you are all well. So as I said, already dealt with Dark Night of the Soul already done the soul revocations and so we're going to be moving along with all of that what's going on Lauren thank you for coming in we're going to be looking today at the soul disclosure series and this is volume three okay so today is all about a Q&A about soul disclosure what's it all about so um, I put down hey Prince what's up um, around seven questions here that will answer a bunch of soul questions and of course the majority of the rest of those questions will be answered as we go through the the volume of soul disclosures through this series of work so we've just got a few questions here around seven questions general questions that are um, asked by many common questions and maybe some aren't so common so here they are beginning with our questions first of all what is a soul hey Kino how are you doing what is a soul so the first thing that we need to understand is that the soul is individual fragments of the primary source of all of creation so it's individual pieces of primary source so we're kind of fragments of that okay it's also known as an aspect of divine mind, okay? Mind, this is, this is where it gets a little bit confusing where people say, well, you know, how can you, you know, how can you say that soul is mind? Well, it is, because just as everything is mind, we are divine mind and we are actually mind. Soul is the same as mind. It's also the same as ego, but we've just got a very uh, misconstrued representation of that too, because the word ego actually comes from the Greek word ero, which means single unit, okay, single unit. So it means that soul is mind, it means that soul is ego, and it also means that soul is also essence. So this is what soul actually is. Where is it from? It's from the primary source of all creation, as we have just said. Okay, so what is the function or the purpose of soul? The functional purpose of soul is to experience itself through the physical realms, to learn, to grow, quite simply, and to remember and know itself, to remember or know itself. So we could say, why did it forget? Well, that's another, that's another question in itself. We're going to go into that another time, but just real brief for this kind of intro Q&A. Um, from a spiritual perspective, things will, people will say that, you know, because you come in through the birth canal, this is the reason why you forget. And there is some truth in that. There is some truth in that. However, I think that it runs a lot more deeper than that too. I think there's something deeper behind the reason why we go through forgetting. Hey Erica, how you doing my darling? So um, it has many purposes and functions and um, the remembering part, we're gonna go through that when it comes to the reincarnation process. How are you my dear? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for rocking in. So the next question is, is, is there such a thing as a bad soul? Is there such a thing as a bad soul? Or rather, are all souls good? Well, what do you lot think? Mm. We're on point four. What I've done is just posed some questions, but um, I'll run through the real quick bullet point at the end. Seven questions about soul. 
And this is our fourth question, and I'll run you back on the other ones when we've completed number seven. So number four is, is there such a thing as a bad soul, or rather, are all souls good? The answer is no, they're not all good. People think that the soul is all, I mean, it should be, it's supposed to be. Is the soul always pure? But we do have such a thing as rotten apples <laughs> to the core. You know, when someone is rotten to the core, well, their core is their soul. OK, so there's your, uh, you know, the rotten apple analogy really does sort of like tell us exactly, you know, that sometimes not all souls are good and pure. Some children are born and um, you can tell right from the beginning that something's not right. It's not common, but it definitely, definitely does happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the next question is, is do souls pick their location? their parents and their story again this is another huge question and it's more kind of going to be tied into the um soul disclosure series probably when we talk about reincarnation or past lives parallel lives it will be one of those two um in some cases yes okay we do pick family we do pick location and we do pick the story however Lots of things need to be taken into consideration with that, such as, um, you know, the whole of the history of uh, one soul journey. It's not just as simple as that. So there's lots of reviews and um, we could say other souls or other beings that may be involved before a place, location and parent is selected. OK, so it's not uniquely um, the uh, primary or the sole choice of the soul, if that makes sense, okay? So, this is a good one. Do all flesh and blood mortals have souls? No, they don't, they don't. And the reason for that is it's kind of connected to the previous, you know, question that we just answered, yes. Because um, some are sort of coming from uh, other places and locations where soul is an, an aspect that's very important to those particular beings in questions. Thanks for the hearts, by the way. So, uh, no, no, it doesn't mean that everything incarnate necessarily has a soul. OK, so we need to be quite clear about that. And um, the last question, Truth Crew, is... Is it possible for souls to be in two places or rather in more than one place simultaneously? Yes, it is. Yeah, because we are multidimensional beings. The soul has the ability to transverse and to travel many places. So again, when we come to the soul disclosure, when it comes to past lives and parallel universes, we'll get more into that. But to answer that question in general, yes, it is possible. And it's also quite the same as well in simple terms. When we are dreaming, yeah, we are astral traveling, we can do cosmic travel. And in that case, we might be in the here and now, but the soul is also going in other places. So it is quite multidimensional. It's very flexible and it has very many abilities to be in more places than one at the same time. So those are our seven questions and I will bullet point them, just go briefly through one more time for you. So, yay! <laughs> so this is the Soul Disclosure series number three. We've already done Dark Night of the Soul. We have done Soul Revocations. You can catch those on YouTube. Yeah. We are going to do The Journey of the Soul, Life Between Lives. Soulmates, Twin Flames and Soul Families, Reincarnations, Past and Parallel Lives. So this is going to be our Soul Series. The questions that we ask today are, number one, what is the soul? Number two, where is it from? Number three, what is, it, what is its purpose and its function? Number four is, is there a bad soul? Is there such a thing? Five is, do souls pick their location, parents, or their story? Six, do all flesh and blood mortals have a soul? And number seven was, is it possible for soul to be in two places simultaneously? 
So um, that's the recap of the question. And then what I'd invite you to do is replay so that you can also catch the answers to that. OK, and we will back in. We'll be back in tomorrow and tomorrow or Wednesday, rather, we will be um, dealing with the journey of the soul life between lives. Yeah, you definitely want to replay. But these are just like short, sharp quick questions, quick answers, just to get us in the know of what's going on with soul before we progress to the deeper subjects as we move through our soul disclosure series. So thank you very much for joining. Don't forget to share it on. Cat, chasing cat. And um, don't forget to share it, share it on. And also, if you're not following me, to follow. Please also, yeah, it's Carmen, chasing the kitty cats. Please don't forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel where all of my transmissions are now being archived. Thanks very much. Take care for now. May the truth always be with you guys. Lots of love to you. Imaste be ye. We are primary source. Ciao for now.